Okay, blight's okay. Hi. Um, I don't want to make a big deal about this at all, but today is the anniversary of my father's death. It's It's been 10 years, and I've been okay, actually. Like, I, I, I've been good. My, my beautiful wife has taken very good care of me, and holy shit, like, got through everything in one piece. So cool. My my sister, on the other hand, not in the best place, and yeah, she's just, we handle things differently. That's what it is, that not even in an attempt to be politically correct or not spread business or anything like that, because you know me, I can be a snitch. I'll, I'll say whatever about whoever, and damn who don't like it. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that my sister and I handle things differently. My my outlet for things that I have to deal with are just other things. I can sit down and write and and be good, you know. Or I have a support system, you know. I, I've got my kid whom the we never even broached the topic today because there was no need. I have my wife who is oh my god best friend in the whole world wouldn't trade her for nothing holy shit and she's always sweet and always j just the right amount of support it's never overkill or i feel like i'm being you know patronized but it's never not enough or i don't feel like i'm not getting what i need and i understand that my sister who was with the same guy for the better part of two decades and now is not, does not have that support. So I, I'm not comparing, oh, well, I dealt with it, so you should deal with it, and you should deal with it the way I did. I just, her idea of dealing with it is to just keep going. She, she works two jobs. She's into something called body combat, which is this extreme mixed martial arts yoga Zumba kind of thing. It, like... It looks like some Ronda Rousey shit. She shouldn't be doing it in her condition. She's got she's got torn tendons. She's got two bad knees, a bad shoulder, carpal tunnel syndrome, and both her damn hands. Like, slow down. She's like late thirties, and she's more broken down than I am, and I'm way older than she is. She she doesn't know how to stop. And I keep telling her if if you don't stop, your body will stop you for you and it'll be the kind of stop where it ain't no okay when i'm all healed up it's right back at it you're gonna fuck around and get a stroke or a heart attack she got high blood pressure i don't even, i don't know all the pills she's taking but it's a lot she's got a lot of shit going on and if she doesn't deal with this as quickly as she can as effectively as she can i'm gonna have another one of these days on my hands that i have to worry about and I've said it before on this channel, and it sucks. Like, while I'm very zen in my life and very happy with my life and good with where we are and what things are doing, like, if I were to get a phone call to say something happened and they needed me to come out there, I don't have it. I just couldn't. You know, like, I don't have people whom I could say, hey, loan me $600 so I can get on a plane to go see my sister to handle funeral arrangements or she's got out of the hospital and she needs help because then I'm gonna have to pay that six hundred dollars back and I can't set my family back because you couldn't stop. You know, and I'm sorry, I just on top of that, I'm just not a traveler. I mean, if if I had it and it, it was within my means, of course I'd go run out there and I'd I'd slap some sense into her, but I don't have the money to be going 2,200 miles across the country because you don't know how to slow down, because you don't know your limits. Like, trust me, I was sick. Coming from the man who had a tumor, whom was told, it was 2018, seven years ago, eight years ago, that I had like less than six months to live. I'm still here and I'm still kicking because I know how to take care of myself. Because I know when my body says slow down, slow down. Because also because I got a support system. I, I don't want to say it's, oh, it's just pure willpower. No, that's not what I'm saying. But 
I know when enough's enough, and she doesn't. And that's going to be to her detriment. But I spent five minutes babbling about my sister. I'm done. I'm better than I thought I would be today. Things are well. I've got this nagging feeling in the back of my head. Like, you know that feeling like you walked out the house and you're much too far away from the house to go back. But also... You might have left the stove on, but you know you didn't leave the stove on. Or you walked out and you didn't check your doorknob. I know that's me. When I walk out the front door, I always wiggle my doorknob just to be sure. And if I get to walk in a block and a half and I don't, I get that weird feeling in the back of my head like I should have did that. That's where I am right now. This feeling like something needs to be happening or I'm supposed to be taking care of something and I'm not. But... I'm going to just chalk that up to long day, slight headache. My wife's got a major headache, so I'm going to go close my laptop because I'm done with this guy. And I'm going to go curl up with the woman I love because have you seen her? Why wouldn't I?